Hi guys this is Web's Lesson Laravel video tutorial series and in this part we will learn how to upload image or file in Laravel by using Ajax. In one of our previous tutorial in which we have already published video tutorial on simple image file upload in Laravel with validation. So there are many viewers has requested us to publish video tutorial on how to upload image using Ajax jQuery in Laravel, because by using Ajax our web application response time will be faster, and it will improve performance and speed on of our web application. For this here we have add this topic in our Laravel tutorial series in which how can we use Laravel with Ajax for upload image file into folder without refresh of web page. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our Laravel application working folder in which we want to make first controller for handle HTTP request. For this we have go to command prompt and here we have already run composer command, and we have also come into Laravel working folder, so now here we have run this command. This command will make Ajax upload controller under app folder and under this HTTP folder and under this in controllers folder we can see Ajax upload controller.php file. Under this file first we have write function index method, this is root method of this controller. That means when we have type base URL slash Ajax upload controller name then it will execute this method. Under this method we have write return statement with view method and under this we have write Ajax upload view file. This code will load Ajax upload.blade.php file in browser. We have already created view file under resources folder slash views file and here we can see ajax upload.blade.php file, and under this file we have already imported jQuery and bootstrap library link. Under this file we have moved to write HTML code and here first we have write division tag with class is equal to alert and ID is equal to message. Under this tag we will display alert success or error message after upload image. Below this we have write HTML form tag with method is equal to post. ID is equal upload form and encryption type is equal multi-part form data for upload file, so this is simple form for upload image using Ajax. Under this first we have write open and close to curly bracket and between this we have cross site request forgery field function for protect your application from cross site request forgery attacks. Under this we have write input type is equal to file with name and ID is equal to select file, from this tag user can select file from their local computer. After this we have write input type is equal to submit with name is equal to upload, id is equal to upload and value is equal to upload, by click on this button we can upload image using Ajax in Laravel. Here our form is ready, so below this form we have write span tag with attribute id is equal to uploaded image. Under this tag we will display uploaded image after complete uploading of image. Now we have start write Ajax request, 
So here we have write dollar with form tag id upload form with on method and under this method we have submit event. So when form has been submitted then block of code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will prevent form reload and stop to submit form to server. Now we have start write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to open and close to curly bracket and between this we have write root method and under this we have write ajax upload dot action. Here we have send request to action method of ajax upload controller. In second option we have write method is equal to post. Here we have use post method for send form data to server. In third option we have write data option and here we have write new form data object with this. Here it will send data to server in a set of key and values pairs of form fields and values. In fourth option we have write data type and here we have write JSON. In this option we can define in which form you want to receive data from server, here it will receive data in JSON format. In fifth option we have write content type option set to false, this option has been used when data sent to server. In sixth option we have write cache option set to false, this option helps to stop to cache pages in browser. In seventh option we have write process data and which set to false. It is used for send DOM document or non-processed data file. So it is set to false. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server which we can access from this data argument. We will write code under this function later first we have go to ajax upload controller and here we have make action function with request argument. This function will receive ajax request for upload image. For validate form data first here we have write use statement with validator class. This is validator class for validate form data. Now under this function we have write dollar validation variable is equal to validator class with make method and it will create a new validator instance. Under this method here we have write to argument, in first argument we have write dollar request variable with all method, it will return all form data for check validation. In second argument we have want to describe rules for validation, so here we have write file tag name select file in key and value we have write different validation rules. This rules will check if form has been submitted without selecting file then it will display validation error by using this required rules. Same way selected file must be an image has been validated by using this image rules. After this it will also check image file extension. So if selected file extension not into this list then it will display validation error. And lastly it will check image size must be less than 2 megabyte. If image more than this size then it will return validation error. After define form data with validation rules. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar validation variable with passes method. This method determines if data passes validation rules. If data not passes validation rules then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write return statement with response method. This method return a new response from the application.
After this here we have add JSON method, by using this method we can return a new JSON response from the application, by using this method we can send data to AJAX request in JSON format. Under this method we have write message key with value get from dollar validation variable with errors method with all method, this method will return validation message which we have store under message key. Same way in second key we have write upload image and under value we have write blank, because image not uploaded yet. And in third key we have write class name and under value we have write alert danger, because there is an error in uploading, this way all data has been sent to AJAX request in JSON format. But suppose form data will pass all validation rules then it will execute if block of code end. Under this we have write dollar image variable is equal to dollar request variable with file method. And under this we have write select file, here by using this file method, it can retrieve file from the request and store under dollar result variable. Now we have write dollar new name variable is equal to php random function with dot string with dollar image variable with get client original extension method. This method will return extension of selected image and it will create new name of selected image. After this we have write dollar image variable with move method with two argument. In first argument we have write public path function with images folder name and in second argument we have write dollar new name variable. Here move function has been used as php move uploaded file function and under this we have defined two argument like image destination and source of image. Here we have already make images folder under this public folder and this function will deploy selected image under this images folder, this way it will upload image in Laravel. Now we want send response to Ajax request, so here we have write return statement with response method and here we have also write JSON method. This method will send response in JSON format to Ajax. Under this first we have write message key value set to image uploaded successfully and uploaded image key value set image tag with source is equal to slash image folder slash dollar new name variable. Here we have store uploaded image data to Ajax request and based on this data it will display uploaded image on web page and in third key we have write class name value set to alert success, because image uploaded successfully. Now we have go to Ajax request success function. And first we have write dollar with division tag id with css method and under this we have write display property set to block, this code will display this block which is hide. Below this we have again write dollar with division tag id message with html method and under this we have write data dot message. This code will display success or error message under this division tag. After this we have write dollar with division tag id message with add class method and under this we have write data dot class name. This code will add value of data dot class name to this division tag. Lastly we want to display uploaded image on web page, so here we have write dollar with span tag id uploaded image with html method and under this we have write data dot uploaded image, 
it will display uploaded image on web page. After this we want to set root of index method and action method of Ajax upload controller, so here we have go to roots folder web.php file. After this we want to set root of index method and action method of Ajax upload controller, so here we have go to roots folder web.php file. So when in browser when we have write Laravel application base URL slash Ajax underscore upload then it will execute index method of Ajax upload controller. Same way we want to set root for action method also, so here we have write root class with post method and under this method first we have write slash Ajax underscore upload slash action, and in second argument we have write Ajax upload controller at the rate action, so when we have write ajax request send to action method then it will called ajax upload controller action method. Lastly for root set to ajax request here we have add name method and under this we have write ajax upload dot action, this url we have write under url option, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. For run Laravel application we have go to command prompt and here we have write php artisan serve. This method will run Laravel application and it will return base URL of our application. So here in browser, we have type base URL slash Ajax underscore upload then we can see output of image upload form on web page and here we can see file tag and submit button. Now we have directly click on submit submit without selecting file and after click on submit button we can see required file validation on web page without refresh of web page because we have used Ajax with Laravel. After this we have select world file and click on upload button, so now we have received error message like selected file must be an image. So now we have select one SVG image file and click on upload button, after click on upload button we have received validation message like only PNG, JPG, and GIF image file allowed. Now we have again select one image file with size more than 2 megabyte, and click on upload button. After click on upload button we have received error message like image size should be less than 2 megabyte. Lastly we have select proper image file and click on upload button, after click on upload button we have received success message like image uploaded successfully, and below we can see uploaded image on web page without refresh of web page because we have use Ajax with Laravel. So this is complete step by step process how can we upload image file in Laravel and using Ajax with validation. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.